What's so your... what kind of gold are you going to catch today, Connor? Hopefully a trout. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up what's called South Fork. We'll go over Cody, fly up the South Fork, which is like a canyon between two valleys, up over the mountain, and then drop right into the Jackson. And off of our right-hand side, right over here, is going to be Grand Tetons, which is pretty spectacular. Life jacket. I don't know where you want to. Ow, oh, fucking man. That, that's real blood. Just like that, we're all ready to go get the fuel. Traffic, Pollock 14, Sheriff Fox, taxiing via Alpha, runway 13, Pal Traffic. Alright, go ahead and shut your door, Kate. Looking for 18. Gages are all green. Autopilot's off, trim set. Right there, half flap. Circuit breakers are all good. Cabin doors locked. Seat belts are on. All right. Call traffic, Boeing 14 Sierra Fox, entering runway 13, back taxi. Call traffic. All right, heels to the floor, looking for 80. Power. Airspeed's alive. Green. Get over there. Lady. Pause the brake, flaps up. Got a runway gear up. One ten. Brought back just a little bit. There we go. Good day, hundred feet AGL. We're going to go ahead climb all the way up to 12.5 or 12,000 today so we can get over the mountain. We got a little bit of train in front of us. Weird how that works, you know, big mountain, you know. Getting about 500 feet a minute, climb. Everybody's watching videos. That's what I live with. Straight up and over, looks like the clouds are plenty high. Huh, yo. What are you doing back there? No. Nothing. Being an old autopilot, the Century 3 works pretty dang good.
Cody Traffic, Point to One Force here at Fox, 15 miles northeast, 9,700 climbing, 12,500. Cody Traffic. Just crossing through 10,200. Still getting about 300 feet a minute. Finally at 12,500 feet. It took us uh, quite a while to get up here. Pretty high density altitude. I think density altitude leaving Powell today was about 7,000 feet. We're just over the Buffalo Bill Reservoir. Straight ahead of us, you'll see the Wind River Mountain Range. A lot of mountains right here. Coming back, we ought to make good time because we got a heck of a headwind now. I think it said 20 knots headwind. That is slowing our ground speed to about 115, 117 knots. Plus, quite a bit of turbulence, unfortunately. A lot of slide shoots, as you can see. Still only getting about 125 knots ground speed. A lot more snow in these mountains than the bighorns east of us. That right there would be the Canyon to Dubois, and right ahead of us. We're about 1,500 feet AGL right here. And there's a nice flat top if we had to put it down. Definitely have some options right here. It's gonna be cold, there's gonna be snowy, but we've got options. We're always looking for those options, little clearings, meadows. So this, uh, straight out ahead of us, you can start to see the Tetons. This is what they call the thoroughfare. There's horseback and hiking is about the only way you get back up in here. But once we get a little closer to the other side, you'll actually see some, there's some roads and stuff. Block four zero Fox, a report passing Zibiv. Report passing Zibiv, one four zero Fox. And block four zero Fox, uh, will you be full stopping after your approach? Yeah, this will be full stop, one four zero Fox. Blanca, Force Sierra Fox, so keep your speed up as long as you can. I've got uh, about three jets that'll be chasing you for the ILS. Uh, they're about uh, inside of 50 miles right now. All right, keep the speed up, and we're just inside of the one Force Sierra Fox. Thank you, and report uh, warmer windbound Force Sierra Fox. I practice ILS approach, no uh, I 4 separation services provided, maintain VFR. All right, we'll uh, report warmer and maintain VFR, one Force Sierra Fox. Down to 9,800 here. Five, seven. Yeah, Jackson Tower, one four zero Fox, just past one really. Block four zero Fox, so thank you, runway one nine, clear to land. Runway one nine, clear to land, one four zero Fox. Take a lot of rudder on this. Not on the center line, but a dang good landing considering the wind. Block 4 Sierra Foxtrot, great job today. Turn left at the next taxiway, Alpha 2, and uh, 
taxi to parking via Alpha and contact ground off the runway on 124.55. Have a great day, guys. Blanco 14 Sierra Fox, Chart Jackson Ground. Continue to taxi south there on Alpha and the uh, GA ramps down on your, at the end on your left. It's not every day we get our car delivered to us on the ramp. We get to pretend we're playing with the big boys today. This is the south entrance. Tell the fine folks of YouTube what we're doing now. We're trying to tell you how to fight off bears. You're going to tell you how to fight off bears? Well, you need sticks. Because we are in bear territory, grizzly bear territory, right? So we're in bear territory. When you're in grizzly bear territory, it's important to be super loud. We don't have any bear spray or pistols or anything. All we have is fishing pole. What's the fishing pole good for? Catching fish. What are fish good for? Catching bears. So really it's almost like we're trying to bear fish. Since we're going bear hunting, when the bears come, this is how we scare them off. It's very important to make lots of noise so you, you bang your sticks together and you go, hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. your foot hurt? I don't have a shoe. Where'd your shoe go, Kate? In the river. But the 14 year old couldn't keep both his shoes on. I had to river. hike through this much water by myself. So if you're thinking to yourself, you know, I'd really like to go pet a buffalo. I'm going to see how close I can get to one. Right here at Elk Ranch Flat is probably one of the best places to see buffalo. And that's just outside of Moran Junction, which is the south entrance to Grand Teton National Park. We're going to play Olympic Frogger here for just a second and cross the highway. And we'll show you all the buffalo. That is all the buffalo. Now while you probably can walk up to these buffalo, it is ill-advised. And there's plenty of footage on YouTube already of people that have tried that and not had very good results. So anyhow, buffalo over there and right behind us will be the Grand Tetons. Power coming in. Airspeed's live. There's 80, gently pull back. Flaps are already up. We'll wait till we get no usable runway. And no usable runway, gear up. And block four zero fox shut uh, for departing traffic a widget behind you. Uh, start your left turn out. Left turn out one four zero fox. Honor, I can see you in the camera on the wing. I can also put up a peace sign. They can see it. Peace man, little man, hippie man, ha 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 ha. Oh, I can see my, my finger. You're like, I'm waving to myself. <laughs> we caught two fish that were Ew. about, they were like that. They no, were not even that. They were like this. No, they were like, no, they weren't that. They were like no, that. they weren't that small. One of them was like that. No, you didn't even see. All right, we're just gonna climb, 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 climb. Hey, we're already doing 120 knots ground speed and getting, about 750 feet a minute vertical. Look at all those trees. You got any water in here? No. I was Dude, gonna, really? I was going to ask that same question. You guys really have to start preparing yourself better for flying. Get our profile. Our profile says as long as we keep climbing, we'll be fine. Only 45 more minutes until I get to pow? No, it's less than that because we're still on the climb. Once we level out, We'll get some serious speed. 
No. That's a lot of speed. That's, That's a, a lot, lot of speed. speed. Jackson Tower, Blanca 140 Fox request. Blanca 140 Fox, go. Uh, we've got a flight plan on file, but aren't able to get it activated. Are you able to see that and activate that? I can try Salt Lake Center 133.25. They might be able to activate it for you. All right, I'll contact Salt Lake Center 133.25. Thank you. 40 Fox. Salt Lake Center, Blanca 140 Fox with request. Deliver 140 Sierra Fox out, is that correct? Uh, correct, 14 Sierra Fox. Uh, I'd like to see if we can get flight following to PAL, and also we have a flight plan uh, and I'm not able to activate it. I wonder if you have that capability. Center 4 Sierra Fox out. I think I can call flight service and tell them to activate your VFR flight plan. I'll let you know if I was successful or not. Uh, if not, it's not a big deal if we've got flight following, 14 Sierra Fox. We'll get a little more distance between us and the ground. What are we climbing to? Uh, probably about 12.5. Oh, that's what we did last time. Yep. 12.5 works pretty good for this trip. And so they don't get hypoxia. Yes, exactly. Hypoxia is not quality. Hypoxia is when your dad starts acting goofy and crashes his plane and doesn't even care. People do that? Like they just crash their plane? Yeah, it makes you silly. It kind of makes you act wrong. one for Sierra Fox, I did speak to flight service and activated your VFR flight plan, so don't forget to close it out when you land. We'll close that out when we land. Appreciate that, one force your Fox. All right, so we're at about 12.5, and we have enough height to clear all the mountains between us and Powell. And on the way back, we're getting 170 knots instead of 120 or 30. I wish there wasn't so much haze. Got one little spot where we might want to get a little more altitude. So we either need to point it to the gap here, which we can do, or climb. This is a pretty rugged terrain here. Yeah, there's not much good places to land. Why do there's like a frozen lake there? Why is it frozen? Huh? Cause because it's, it's high. Look at all the snow still. In between two mountains. Look at how rugged this is though. This is not a good place to have an engine out. Yeah, no. At all. Blanca 142 Fox Rat Flight Center, Cody Altimeter 2982 and report the Powell weather. 2982 for the altimeter and we'll report the Powell weather on 142 Fox. As soon as we get over this one, we can drop back down. One more ridge. And we're going to clear this because I can see the terrain behind it rising, which is good. I want to see that. The other thing about flying through these mountains and stuff like that is if you're flying through a uh, canyon or something, you want to stay to one side or the other. You don't want to be right down the middle because it gives you an out. I can always cut this way and come down. That You want to try and stay on the upwind side of the hill or the mountain. So if, let's see, if the wind's coming through this valley right here and it's coming up off this hill and rolling down and come back and up, coming back up, but as, if the wind's coming up a slope, then that means that you should get some good lift. What you don't want to do is be on the downwind you know, so where the wind's coming down a slope, because then it could actually drop you right into the train. Right ahead of us, what you'll see if you look through the front camera, Alaska 26, what's our frequency again, please? Is heart mount. Alaska 26, So this really gives you a good idea. Uh, request 360 if it's uh, if it's a mountain's all the way right around us. So straight ahead, we just were flying right over heart mountain here. Off to this side, you can see the Bear Tooth. Or the start of the Beartooth, uh, behind this Wind River, and straight ahead of us, you can see the plateau that is Full Cat Bench, and that is where, that's where the Powell Airport is located. Uh, for Sierra Fox, we've got the weather, we can go ahead and cancel flight ball on now, thank you for the help. Number 4 Sierra Fox, route radar service terminated, Squawk VFR, change to advisory for the tip roof tank. Squawk VFR, how good evening. So why does this landing thing make people nervous? This? Yeah because you come up on the bench and all of a sudden the ground comes up very fast and people aren't ready for that. Whee! Well, I do not like that. What? Ah, that's what? scary. Because I don't like it. That's too, that's too steep, Dad. You're going to roll it. I'm only dropping 500 feet a minute. 
only? Oh. And we're only doing like a 20 degree bank. That's scary. No, I, it doesn't. That's scary. We took a steeper bank leaving this morning. All right, let's get some more speed out. That ought to do it. I don't like that either. What? No. Nope. Not even a steep turn. That is. No, it isn't. Stop, I don't like that. I have to turn. I don't like it. I need to turn if we want to land on the runway. Huh. I kind of want to land on the runway. I kind of do too. <laughs> so let me get turned, please. All right, we got gear down, and we're not gonna. All right, gear down, Jeff. Make your prop on your carriage. Wow, what? Out. Right on the center line. Wow, amazing. That bird oh. almost got drilled. Quality. Connor, ready? I'm gonna drive the plane. You wanna see? You gonna drive it? I'm driving it. That skill, that's totally skill driving. Put your feet on the pedals, you got them? Okay. Oh. I'm gonna. I'll control the power, and I'll be here with you. You steer it. <laughs> if you want to go right, push that one. Little adjustments. They're kind of a little hard to push. I'm on the pedals with you, so I see a problem. I'm driving a plane. Believe that? <laughs> yeah. What we need to do is get you to feel what it's like to fly it and fly it a little bit. You'll get more comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> because what do you think's safer? If you know what you're doing, or only I know what I'm doing. Look at that. So that was a good day, huh? It's a good day. How else am I gonna get to Jackson, look at two jobs, go fishing, not leave till noon, and make it back by 8 p.m.? So until next time, you have a good dang day. <laughs>